So what's the best daily routine? It's my tip of the day. People ask me that question all the time. What's the most productive daily routine? So life should be about the four pillars of the good life, health, wealth, love, happiness. So you should do it in that order, you know what I mean? So basically, wake up, do health first. Work out, um, you know, get in your weights, get in your cardio first, because life's nothing without health. Then secondly, go out and make some money. Wealth, career. And <clears throat> that's gonna take the majority of your day. Third, you know, the evening comes around. Love is about your social life. So go, like tonight, I'm going with my friends to an Argentinian restaurant. They're going out of town, so socialize at night. Oh, get two. Cavaliers, if you need me, I was here during the finals. I was even in Ohio. <laughs> oh, break. But uh, then fourth, happiness. That's the that's the really Sigmund Freud said. The purpose of life. It's hard to know the purpose of life, but if you look at the behavior of humans, it's obvious. People seek to be happy. So the way you get happiness, the fourth pillar is by getting the first three. See, happiness is a byproduct of the first three. Health, wealth, love, happiness. You get that, things start to fall in place. A lot of people seek happiness directly. I think happiness is like a cat. If you try to go after it and pet it too much, it doesn't want to be around you. Happiness comes when you're not seeking it. Now, I will add, with a good daily routine, you know, I vary it up. I've never been, I think there's four personality types. I have this system called PACE. P-A-S-E, practical action, social, emotional people. You know, there's different types of personality and for me, I'm action oriented. So if I do the same daily routine, I get burnt out. You know, these are the things that should have taught us in school. Not just reading, writing, arithmetic, how to be productive, how to overcome procrastination how to have initiative. People have a hard time getting off their butt. You might have an idea in your head. You know you'd make money, but you can't get the drive. One thing I'll say to that on your daily routine, you should be 50% introverted, 50% extroverted. Most people are either too introverted or too extroverted. That's why I try to live half the time I, I own a farm go there two weeks and then come back to the big city here in LA the other two weeks. So LA is an extroverted city, um, you know, farms obviously introverted because you get a lot of initiative and drive and money comes partially from being able to think deeply through problems. I always say, well, it wasn't even me. I think it was Descartes or one of the great philosophers said, all the man's problems would be solved if they would just sit in a room for 10 minutes and think deeply, you know? So sometimes I'll take a yellow notepad. I got a friend of mine who makes crazy money, like five million bucks a month net. And he says, any problem he has in life, part of his daily routine, sit in a chair, the yellow notepad, brainstorm out 20 solutions. You know, people get caught like, how do I, do I change jobs? Do I start my own company? Uh, how do I start investing? And then, they get stuck right there. So that's where you have to sit. That's then what I mean by being introverted, you know? Who? What is that? Ho ho! Three, two! Oh! Oh no! You guys ever sing Along Came Polly? Raindrops! <laughs> With Ben Stiller. Swish! Woo! Philip Seymour Hoffman, that was a good guy. Rest in peace. And then party, you know, 
Another part of your daily routine that I don't have time to talk about, you can watch my TEDx talk on the law of 33%. I just saw like nine and a half million people watch that. And uh, basically, part of your daily routine also has to be spending your time with people, 33% of your time with people ahead of you to mentor you and guide you, 33% of the time with people on your level, those will be your friends, and 33% of the time with people you can help, you know, people with less skill. Now, Ando, my dogs are, wanna play basketball. Ando, ready? Favorite part of the day, playing basketball. And that was one take. That won't even. Now if I hit this Kareem shot. Uh-oh. He hit it. Oh, oh, he hit it. It's time to go. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what is Swaggy P? Did you see Swaggy P coming down? Swaggy P came down like this. Swaggy P's been over here. Yo, Swaggy. You were on the court. Congratulations. And congratulations to my boy Javel McGee. Travell was out here, he can shoot. People don't realize these NBA players, even the ones you don't think can shoot, can shoot. Golden State Warriors, Draymond was out here, good, congratulations. So, it's kinda cool. I never thought in my life, I grew up watching basketball, never thought I'd get to meet some of the people that I looked up to, you know? It's kinda a good goal in life to achieve. As part of your daily, and that's why I said daily routine, you gotta be productive. Peter Drucker says, in a great book, by the way, Managing Oneself, I recommend it on my book recommendation page on tylopez.com. Um, he says, what made Mozart, Beethoven, Leonardo da Vinci different? Some of it was IQ, they were very smart, but he said they had the same 24 hours in a day, they managed themselves. So you have to know how to manage yourself. And that's what daily routine is. Managing oneself, you know? Oh! Delete that from the records! No, you can keep that. Oh, robbery. And that's a good metaphor for life. Sometimes you just miss. Even layups. So you step out to the three, keep shooting, like Kobe. Wow. Wow. Get this around the world warm up here. Around the world. What's the ending? I gotta go, I gotta go socialize. Straighten it up, straighten it up. Who's a mentor? He was a basketball mentor. He played in the NBA. Keep it straight 10 years against Michael Jordan. My MJ or LeBron? What oh, do you man, say? That's a tough one. I'm going to stay away from that question. Who <laughs> wants that question? I asked you the same thing. Uh, and what'd you say? You know what Phil Jackson said? Or uh, who was it that gave a good answer? I think. Steve Kerr? Yeah, Kerr. Look, can't compare different eras. Kareem Abdul Jabbar yeah. would dominate right now. Especially with modern weights, and yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's a matter of <laughs> eras, mindset. Eras. So then, so MJ, mindset, then Michael Jordan Michael. mindset, maybe yes. not just the greatest basketball player, but the greatest athlete. Yeah. I never saw Michael Jordan get it discouraged, and well, he, he ever. He saw it. Yeah, but I, I don't think he was, and that's a, that's. If you can be less discouraged than most people, you'll go a long way in life. All right, let's end it with a little around the world. Unedited. Unedited. What you see is what you get right now. No jump cuts. Oh! Uh oh. Can I handle the pressure? Mark Cuban came here and put a little one on one for charity. 
I said, Ty, in life and business, you only got to win once. So you miss all these shots, you hit the last one. That's what people remember. Kobe's game in like 2000, I forget what series. Didn't do well, but he hit the last game winner. That's what they show on the replay. So you'll mess up your daily routine. That's the other thing. If you mess up your daily routine, you get out of whack. Go on a trip, travel, reset. You got to travel too as part of your daily routine. Anyway, I got to go. Good luck on your daily routine.